building relationships with funders varies um, quite a bit by funder. Um, one of the most important things I think is um, to be sure to, um, once you identify an opportunity, if they're having a presentation about the, the, the minutia, make sure that you're part of that. And then those um, sessions will often cue you into the people to talk to. Um, and sometimes, um, you know, they're overwhelmed and they're, they may not be able to do a face-to-face -face meeting, but, you know, they'll give you feedback through email about, you know, whether or not this sounds like a good fit for their organization. So that's always important. Other times we we will have a connection maybe or so or something, um, and then we will be able to talk to people you know through a Teams or whatever something like that or a Zoom. So mm -hmm. that you know that accessibility varies quite a, quite a bit, but um, it uh, and and then yes yeah, some funders just you know there's no response at all. So, but you you just have to do mm. the best you can. And, and, you know, and try and make yourself known to them, you know, and, and be as responsive as possible if they're asking for more information from you or something like that. Because that's usually a really good sign. Um, if they, you know, if they're asking you for more information, be like Johnny on the spot. Because they want to know that if you get the grant, are you going to be Johnny on the spot with their, you know, their um, reporting requirements. And also, mm -hmm. I think everybody hears this advice, but at all costs, try not to submit on the day it's due because all kinds of things can go wrong with the funders platform, your internet, and, and generally if things go wrong, then there's no mercy. <laughs> They're pretty strict about it. You pretty much have to have a real catastrophic event. <laughs>